2017 Ford Fiesta front brake job. You're going to need a 12 millimeter for the caliper bolts and a 15 for the bracket. That's the bracket bolt. I already unloosened and taken off the caliper bolts. It's kind of hard to hold the phone. That is loose. As I said, let us know. 440-466-9559, So both of those are loose now. I'm going to pry this caliper out. Pretty easy to do. I have to collapse that caliper just in there. I'm going to get those pliers to do so. And it's just as simple as squeezing it. Alright. Now that's in there. I'm gonna main I'm gonna keep these pads. Somebody put new pads on it. But I'm gonna replace the rotor and just scuff these. So now that I did that, I'm gonna put this back on so I could take the entire situation off. I'm going to take the bracket assembly off so I get to get the rotor off. Alright, it's loose enough to unscrew by hand now. That's the 15 millimeter bolt head. Might need a persuader. There we go. Just carefully let that hang. And I figured that wouldn't come off. So let's go find a hammer. Shouldn't have to hit it too hard. I got a little five pound. All right, maybe you do have to hit it a little hard. Getting looser. It's been on there for a little while. That's somewhat simple, it's not too hard. This rotor shot. And 
now I'm just going to get a piece of sandpaper since I would like to clean up these brake pads a little bit so they have a good mating surface to the new rotor. No sense changing brand new pads. Uh, I'm just going to sand that. I'm going to put it pretty much basically just do that. And that's 60 grit sandpaper. You can see how much smoother and flat it is now. I have to do the other side. I'm going to try to set this phone up so you can see it as I am sanding it. Hopefully you can see it. Try to go side to side. You don't want to really go up and down because you don't want grooves from your fingers going up and down. Side to side will make it nice and smooth and even. Much better. Now I'm just going to put a little starting fluid on there because I don't have any brake clean. And that will clean that up. I have my starting fluid as cleaner. So now that's done. Now I'm just going to clean this surface for the rotor. So I have one of these attached to a drill bit. basically going to be like that but I'm going to use two hands so I'm going to put pause it right now so now that I use the wire wheel on that cleaned it up a little bit you can put some copper anti-seize on that if you'd like in this case I'm not going to do it so now I have to clean this rotor because they usually come with a little oil on there so they don't rust and I'm going to, again, use the starting fluid because it's easy. So now that I had cleaned the rotor, I am going to put the phone down here for a second. Hopefully you can see. I'm going to install this. Nice and easy. And reinstall the whole caliper and bracket assembly. Now you're probably going to have to move this around to get this bolt in here because it's always a pain in the butt so I'm going to put the phone down and do so Pause the video temporarily for a second until I get those in. Now that I got those in, I'm just going to tighten these bolts real snugly with my 15 millimeter socket. Now that the bracket bolts are secure, I am going to make sure the caliper is nice and snug as well. And that's pretty much it. 
We're there, and repeat on the other side. Hope you enjoyed the video.